welcome to another day trading recap with the high flying bull before we dive in make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button turn on notifications and subscribe for more content like this so that we can continue to win together quick disclaimer the information we provide is not financial advice you're 100 responsible for the investment decisions you make and the information we provide is solely for education purposes and nothing more so it's, it was clearly uh, one, one an unreal day uh, with uh, Jerome Powell speaking on uh, being less hawkish with the interest rates. We've seen some setups that were clearly um, very easily predictable, as we can see here. And you know, a big big part of of predicting these plays is sort of the confluence or the uh, the amount of indicators that pointed to the same conclusion. And today I'm going to really walk you guys through that and how we sort of capitalized on on the move through uh, option contracts. So on the left side of my screen, you'll see a Tesla stock chart. And on the right side, you'll see the call option, uh, the calls option chart. So I'm taking 185 calls expiring on, I should probably change that to 12.02 right here or sorry yeah 1202 december 2nd expiry and basically what we can see here and i've drawn, drawn the trend line is our first pattern our pattern that we're we're buying on so this is a descending wedge and after good news if i zoom in here we'll see pr right prior to the news and there was anticipation of good news You'll notice a nice large volume body, uh, large volume and large bodied candle close above this wedge. So it's closing above the wedge, it's closing outside the wedge. We are calling this a breakout. So the way I enter the position is I'll take my calls here and I'll say the first ca uh, candle, uh, mental stop, not, uh, not an active stop loss again, just to prevent getting wicked out is going to be right below here, this consolidation level. So if I get a, can, a red candle closing below here, that's my stop. And you'll notice how I, that's how I avoid getting stopped out here. So that's going to be the entry right there. If I just take this out now, and you'll see how it sort of just consolidates, consolidates. And as it retests and bounces higher, particularly after the announcement, this is where I'm now going to follow the four moving average. So it's an exponential four moving average. Why I did the four was because this is a, quite an explosive move. You can see by this candle here. Had I used a nine EMA, I would have left a lot on the table, especially with call options. That entry right here on the on this chart, uh, if you look here, it's about three dollars and thirty or forty cents. That would be the entry. Uh, corresponding to my entry and going here um, to use a 9 EMA would leave about 15 20 percent on the table which I was not willing to do especially in a choppy market like this so getting good news finally we have the bulls fighting back and as this go goes on I just let it ride using the 4 EMA that's how I let my winners run and you'll see here my final stop will be right here at 189 50 from my original entry at 182.50. So about seven dollars per share here, and on the contracts, um, obviously a huge move from three dollars. Um, I did I captured up to seven dollars per share. You can see it's just continuing its crazy rise into um, ten dollar territory. So I did not capture the entire move, but we captured the a good majority of it. And if you can capture a good majority of the move. Uh, you're going to be laughing in these markets. That's uh, more than double on doubling our contracts. And so for every one contract there, you're making about 300 to $400. So um, it's uh, quite unreal um, how that uh, that move uh, occurred. But again, it's predictable, A, because of uh, Jerome Powell's statement uh, that was you know more on the bullish side. And then, of course, some technical indicators pointing to the move such um, such as the candlestick we're looking at that breaks out of the wedge, volume, 
Um, it's not shown here on this chart, but there was also a MACD cross to the upside. So we had a shorter term EMA cross the longer term EMA, which is bullish as well. And um, lastly, another confirmation indicator that you could use to scale in was on this candle that would break our and break and close above our VWAP. So lots of confirmation indicators there. Those are the ones that are my go-to indicators. Generally on the technical side, again, the systematic sort of um, outside uh, Tesla, uh, the announcements from j was to uh, be a little less hawkish on interest rates. And that's obviously what caused a big drive in the markets today. So, I mean, it was easily predictable on our end and it can be easily predictable on your end as well. All you guys got to do is be willing to learn and be willing to join our, our a community uh, like X Trades, And that education is going to be your first investment that creates um, the returns like this. So that's all for today, guys. Um, again, if you want to be part of these plays, I strongly suggest you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, click the link below and get your 20 day free trial with us today. We teach thousands of traders how to capture plays just like these ones, whether it's on the stock side or, or the share side or the option side. Um, it's a community that is here to win together. Thanks, guys.